Hello, everybody, and welcome to the No Labels, No Walls Plus We Are One Festival 2020. Thank you. Uh, My name is Markus Vähälä, hailing from Helsinki, and uh, it's been a wonderful day today. Uh, and next, we are on to some special things with the Morris dancing. And uh, hailing from Los Angeles, it's uh, Michael Beerman. So how, how are things in LA? Oh, it's great. Uh, you know, we have a new no, saying no, no, no. here. It's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Put it back because, on, Bridget. Because you can't go outside, so join the festival. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very special time uh, doing this kind of um, Morris dancing workshop uh, digitally uh, on air. And so I welcome um, all of you participating us uh, through our stream all over the world. And uh, uh, Sorry. so um, Maurice Dancing Workshop, welcome. Okay. Can anybody hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the idea was to have a little bit of a, an introduction, to have a little bit of music and do a little bit of dancing. Um, so where are we? At the beginning. So I'm Tony. Um, I'm part of the Helsinki Morrises and we are joined with the No Labels, No Walls gang. And uh, welcome, welcome London. And um, we're going to do a little bit of dancing, like I said, but we're going to start off fairly slowly. Um, I'm going to show you a few pictures, and uh, some people would recognize some of the pictures. Some people will be a little bit surprised. But... Um, I'm having a hard time. I'm hearing two programs at once. Okay. Meaning you've got my echo. Have you got an echo? Okay, now, now you're off. Can you hear me now, Cindy? Okay. So, um, I'm going to open up a little presentation and start off by asking you if you have any idea what Morris dancing is. Well, most people here probably do. So, is this Morris dancing? Hopefully you realise it's not quite what we get up to. This is obviously not... Uh, the streets of London or the streets of Helsinki. Um, needless to say, this is a little more familiar to somebody, somebody in our audience here. So here we have a gang of people who you wouldn't see dancing on the streets normally, but sure enough, they will do it sometime or other. Um, so my idea here is to show how we can do this dance really wherever we are and whatever our abilities are and hopefully we're going to get used to some moving around. I have my handkerchiefs here. You will maybe notice they're not real handkerchiefs um, but I'm going to start off with a little bit of just, just simple movement when I show you a few more pictures here. This is a bit more what most of us are used to seeing on the street with People uh, somebody's trying to join us, I guess. Um, okay, so that was my trip to England a couple of years ago and when we joined some of the street dancers. So my first sort of question was, really, what does Morris dancing involve? Here's my first suggestion. Some people will recognize that. Um, six crosses, arrows. The idea being it's a pattern. So the dancers are doing something maybe even related to this involving patterns, which some people will see. Often the people watching have no idea what the patterns are. Um, here's my second impromptu suggestion to you. Can you see that? Um, this is the... Activity 
iconoclastic activity out on the streets like these people are here. And the last, the last clue to me, an important one. But sure enough, there will we be have music. We have music. So we have somewhere a musician who's going to join us in just a minute. Um, this is the truly English activity that we do. We know and love. Well, some people do, and it's a little bit of a little bit of a challenge to see whether it's lovable or not. But hopefully, you'll enjoy that. And here's another rather nostalgic picture to to show how we all in Helsinki started off a long, long time ago. Um, and in case anyone's wondering where on earth that is, it was on a on a boat. And it was on the high seas on the way to Stockholm. Okay, a jump back to my youth, but a jump also to a little bit of um, apparel. So I don't think I was in this concert. I don't remember much about Jimi Hendrix. I love his music, of course, we still have his music. But I did remember once noticing how the clothes that he was wearing were flowing clothes. And um, I hope you can see his wonderful jammy sleeves here, which are going to be waving around in the wind. And that's what we're also going to be doing, waving ourselves around in the wind. OK, but let's go to go to London. Let's go to the, the centre of town. Let's think about getting out on the streets. And um, obviously, not a lot of Morris dancers in this situation, but uh, they're having some fun on New Year's Eve. And actually on New Year's Day, something rather strange happens, which I never saw, but there we go. That's what some people get up to. Certainly more than I could ever dream of doing. Something which, again, hasn't got a direct relationship with Morris dancing, but it's the fact that we're dancing, we're enjoying ourselves, we're even hopefully entertaining the people who are watching us. This guy's got amazing... Um, I keep on wanting to say accoutrements. Is it equipment? Is it extras? Uh, presumably he can do some dancing without those things, but looks like he's able to get off the ground. Um, but to begin with, I don't want you to get off the ground. I want to start off in a very low key, in a very sedentary way. I'm going to quit my, sh my screen share and see if I can find a musician. Do I have a musician out there? He may have gone to bed. No, I have a, an, an ex-musician. Hello, Mary Sophia. But <laughs> um, do I have another more musician somewhere? There was a man with a hat. Oh, he's taken his hat off. So. Um, well, if you mean me, I'm here. Somebody with a drum and somebody with a with a whistle. And um, let's start off with a very simple bit of tune, just to sort of get some idea of the melody we're going to be using to begin. So over to you, Mr. Musician. Just a short rendition. An A and a B, please. Shepherd's A. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that was the A bit. Do we get the B bit? Okay, I somehow managed to turn my volume down. Could you hear that okay? Everybody else? Sort of? Okay, John? Maestro? Yes. Yeah. Um, one more can time. You play, can you play it one more time? And I'm going to see if I can join in a little bit. Hold this drum. I can hear people. I can see that people can't hear Bridget. So, and here, yeah. Um, so, can we have the can we have the volume a bit higher, but not too high? Well, I can put up the gain on what I've got, but it might cut. How's this? Maybe I'll just play the whistle because it could be the drummers cutting the doing okay. something. So. Okay.
Sean's muted. So we need somebody who... I'm unmuted again. I don't know how I got muted, but uh, that's obviously somebody doesn't like the th three-hole whistle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but hopefully this song is in your ears now a little bit because I'm hoping the rhythm is... Your rhythm is totally okay, that's the idea. We've got some rhythm now, and hopefully the song is in your head. So Morris dancing is like folk singing in the way that there's some repetition of one part and then repetition of a second part. So we have the first part, the A part is the, the higher bit. Um, maybe I'll just sing a little bit to you. Da -da 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 -dum -dum -da 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 -dum. So the A part. Da 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 dun dun da. And actually it repeats itself. It comes two times. Da 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 dum dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da da dum dum dum. And then we get the B part, which repeats, of course, as things seem to do. Dun 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 da 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 dun dun da. And again. Dun dun da dun dun da 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 dun dun da. Okay, so with the A part and the B part, we have different moves, and um, this this is a dance which we're not going to move at all. In fact, we're going to be sitting down. But the idea is that we're moving our bodies, and if you want to move your arms, feel free to move your arms. If you want to move your fingers, just move your fingers. But I'm going to suggest that we move first of all. Lovely fingers, lots of fingers. That we move first of all to the right. Da 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 dum dum da 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 da, and then what I'm going to do is do a little bit of circle. Da 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 dum dum da, and I'm going to repeat it to the right. Da 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 dum dum da 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 dum dum da. Okay, that's kind of the, in a way, the the chorus of the dance, because then we're going to get the actions. Which in this dance, if we do the whole thing, we are clapping and we are hitting three parts of our body. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to change that. I'm going to hit, first of all, my chair. So I'm going to dun, 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 whoops. So I'm going to hit my chair on the left, dun, dun, dun. And then I'm going to do my twirly hand. Da, 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 dun, dun, dun. And again, I'm going to hit my chair. So this is the bit which changes. First of all, I'm going to be clapping. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da. Whirl and whirl and dun, dun, da. Okay, and then I'm going to be hitting my posterior. I'm going to be dun dun da dun dun da 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 dun dun da. And I'll do it again, of course, but I know where my posterior is, so let's move on. Then I'm going to do dun dun da dun dun da 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 dun dun da. Okay. Lots of people now are on the video, so we can watch each other making fools of ourselves. A lot of people, when they do this dance, first of all, get rather embarrassed. So if you want to be on your own, have no video, do that. But if you want to join in, let's take the whole dance. I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to try and follow the music. I'm going to do my chair hitting. I'm going to do my bum hitting. And I'm going to do, finally, my head hitting. I'm going to change my head hitting. but if you're watching me, you'll see how I do it, which is a kind of Morris variation. But the idea, chair, bum, and head. And then we have this. Yes, Hello, we have another dancer joining us, Ihana. Is Hi. it okay? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, is it okay if I keep myself still muted? But if I also play with John, I mean yeah. muted, muted, if, that you don't hear. Muted, yeah, okay. Yeah, See if it's can follow unfortunate me. it doesn't work if we if we try yes, from yes, two different... Yes, I know. But I... once, you, once you remember it, Mary Sophia, we'll switch over to you because it's much it's nicer. Not Mary Sophia plays violin. Let's do that, sir. Keep, it, keep it simple. Thank you. Okay. okay, so I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to listen to John and I'm going to do my A two times, then my B two times, then again my A two times. Remember, I'm going to be doing to the right, to the left, well, well... That's what I'm doing. But anything you choose to do, some people will go to the left first. Some people go to the right first. If we're doing it all together, it's tricky to go both left and right together. But take your pick. First left, first right, 
or first right, first left. I'm shutting up, Mr. Musician. Okay, I'll just maybe count us in. That's simplest. So, oh, one, two, three, four. Sorry, I wasn't sure where the end was coming. I think I stopped a bit early and carried on. It looks good. There's a bit of a lag, though, uh, between what I'm seeing and what I'm playing. So it's a bit schizophrenic um, trying to play. I, I have to sort of not look at you. <laughs> well, um, musicians are imperfect, the same as the dancers are imperfect. But, you know, it's an imperfect world. So we didn't notice too much. Okay, some people here have managed to move on to the next stage with uh, with handkerchiefs. Um, I was starting off by clapping, partly because um, not everyone wants to wave handkerchiefs around and there's no reason why you have to have a handkerchief when you dance, Morris. I mean, we don't, we don't even have to do it outside. But um, my next, next um, little bit of fun is going to involve handkerchiefs. But before we do that, I want to show you a few pictures of some other types of dancing, which people do, which they still call Morris dancing. Um, so we go back to my little show and we move on to... Come on. So we have, strangely enough, American looking dancers. So in English, situations in English terms. These are called sometimes fluffy dancers, fluffy Morris. And here you've got some regular English girls doing it. Um, these are actually UCLA, California. Anyway, from across the pond, here we have some girls in the streets of, it's somewhere in Cambridge. Sorry, I don't remember. And some other girls doing going through their routines. So this is a, another type of street dance. And um, I had no idea it was called Morris dancing. Um, it's one of the one of the songs. And here we have a, a bunch of girls, as you can see, none of them quite as young as they used to be. Um, but you know, anybody can give it a go, whether they're younger or they're older. And um, hopefully, you're going to be doing something which maybe would look even more impressive if you dressed up like this. I'll show you how we get dressed up in a minute. Um, so let me go to my next picture. Okay, this is how some of the men get dressed up. And as you can see, here they have their handkerchiefs. So some people use dancers we just saw. They use pom-poms, they use feathers. We're going to use some handkerchiefs. So. This is the time when I can't see what you're doing, but hopefully the people who didn't have any chief will find something, a piece of paper. Okay. Toilet paper works better than um, note paper, but anyway, anything you can wave around. And like I said, um, Jimi Hendrix created an impression upon me and let's see whether we can create an impression with our, our flowing handkerchiefs. So the idea is to have an A part and a B part. And let me get rid of these guys here. Let me just check where we are. Um, 
So let's go back to back to looking at yours truly. So yeah, if you've got yourself some handkerchiefs, we're moving again, we're moving normally one way, send the other way. And my idea is that we would actually stand up. Some people are already doing that. They've, they've taken, taken the move. So this is where, this is where I realize that I'm not any more able-bodied. Hold on. Because I have a headset to think about. But uh, it's not stopping me waving my arms around. I've got to be a little bit careful about where I put my hands. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about where I'm dancing. So this is actually my bedroom. And uh, I've got a kind of artificial man here. He's a Morris man, metal man. Um, and I'm going to use him in a minute to represent one of my, my colleagues in the dance world. So have a look to see what you've got around you. And I want you to imagine that you've actually got a partner, one on your left, one on your right. So they can be a mythical partner, just in your mind. Um, or if you've got something that could even represent my music stand. I should have found a, a more human looking music stand, but there we go. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some, some moves with my left-handed partner, my music stand. And on the other, the other side, actually, I've only got a, not quite a brick wall, but I've got a, wardrobe wall but a, a door i'm going to open my wardrobe door and that's going to be my partner to the right so once again with morris dancing we've got partners it was really interesting for me to see his m when she was doing her 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 show i can't remember when it was was it two weekends ago she was dancing always on her own in her in her program our dancing is essentially dancing, yes, it was a great, it was really interesting for me to see how different dancing can be. So Morris dancing essentially is dancing with other people, dancing in groups, and that's this idea of making patterns. So I'm essentially going to be using my door, which is still shut. I'm going to open my door and create my partner to the right-hand side. Like I said, your partner can be a mythical partner. But this time we're going to be doing real handkerchief dancing. We're going to be waving our handkerchiefs and those who actually want to do a leap or a, a jump have that option. I'm not going to do it because I've got my headset stuck on me, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to lift a knee up in the ground. I don't think you can see my knee. Here's a knee, but it's going to be a, a modified jump. Morris dancing used to be considered inappropriate unacceptable, immoral, in fact, because of the jumping. Um, I don't have the quotation with me, but some Puritan, a man of very strict morals, believed that men jumping around, and in those days it was only men, men jumping around was suggestive. So how things have changed. But we're going to be trying to be maybe gracefully, gracefully suggestive to our right, gracefully suggestive to our left with our handkerchiefs, but before we do that, I have to open my door. Excuse me. Okay, back to the musicians. So can we hear some music, please, John? Some rose tree music. Rose tree. <laughs> Wonderful. Very simple tune again. Morris dances are rather simple dances. The music is often rather simple. 
we had to persuade John to learn a new instrument in order to keep him active when he was learning our music. Um, but yeah, his little one-handed whistle there was a new instrument. So our That's dance now... The instru original instruments, I believe, pipe and tabor. Yeah, and yeah, he's, he doesn't whistle. have his drum now, but the idea when we started, or when they started many hundreds of years ago, was that simple pipe and the drum. So we're going to be using the rhythm again. It's... Do, do, do. So it's not did a diddle. It's how does it how does it go again, John? Da da dun 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 Okay, so I'm actually going to be going to my right in the remember it's always A music and again A music, B music, and again B music. This time we're going to have let's the regular A music, and I'm going to do two lots of the B music, and I'm going to Stop before we begin the music, the B part. So we'll just do the A part now. It's a simple A part. And, and I'm going to go to my right. I'm doing some whirling with my handkerchiefs. I'm coming back to the middle. I'm doing some whirling with my handkerchiefs to the left. That will do for the moment. One A part, please, John. Okay. Short introduction. <laughs> Great. So the A part, I'm going to the right. Like I said, if you're left-handed, if you want to do go to the left first, no problem. And I'm coming back into the middle for a little sort of mutual bit in the middle before I head off to the left. So let, let's just do that one more time. To the right, coming back to the middle, to the left, coming back to the middle. One more time, John. Muted, you did. Say it again. When I came back to the middle, I was doing this sort of movement. We call it swishes in Helsinki. Goodness only knows what they call it in London or in Johnny Groats. But what I'm doing is I'm doing my A part to the right. I'm doing and then I'm coming back with a swish. And then I'm doing that. And that's actually when we do the jump. That's when we get naughty in the old time. That's it. And then we go to the left. And I swish. Okay. Now we come to the B part. This is where you actually have to have a partner. So I have my metal partner on my right. I have my wooden partner on my left. I have to introduce my wooden partner. Well-dressed, nice kimono. Not quite anyway. Dressing gown, that will do. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do something with my partner on my right. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to listen to the music. I'm going to put my camera up so you can maybe see what I'm trying to do. And Okay, so my, my partner to the right, I'm going to interact with. That's all I'm asking you to do. So now you've got a partner there and I'm going to be doing a little bit of waving my handkerchiefs with my partner. I'm interacting with my partner. I'm going to have a pause before I interact on the other side because I have to move around the, with the camera, okay? So can we have, first of all, John, the first part of the B part? This is my way. Okay, I was going to just take that first part, the bit, the A part to the right, and then come back to the left. So let's do that one more time to the right. Great. 
You didn't see me going to the left. I didn't see you because I wasn't watching. I'm going to unplug my microphone. I'm going to let John take the music. So he's going to repeat that. So we're going to go to the right two times and we're going to go to the left two times. And then we come back to our A part again and we just do the static to the right with our swishing. But now we're going to do the B part. First to the, to the right, first to the left. So use your handkerchiefs, interact with your partner. If we, were, if we were doing this in the street, you would have a partner who was probably whipping their handkerchiefs at you. But sometimes they just whirl their handkerchiefs. I'm going to show you a video in a minute of some people sort of doing different things with their handkerchiefs. When we do the dancing, we kind of flick each other with our handkerchiefs, trying not to flick them nastily. Okay, but I'm going to unplug and I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to do move my hands in a way with my partner to the right, and then I'm going to go to the left, and you're not going to see me. So, so you're doing the the uh, sorry, play the B and then I'm, the A. I, B, can you do the B two times? I'm going to do, do the B twice. B twice. Yeah. Okay. Just B okay. twice. All right. Just B. going back to my central position now and I'm going to ask you then to put the, the whole dance together so we're going to do the A simple A to the right coming into the middle dun, dun. we're going to do these three steps in the middle one of the things like I said in Morris dance is this jumping and when we come into the middle the end of in the middle of the A part the end of the B part we're going to do and I'm actually lifting my feet off the floor. I'm not jumping very much, but I'm actually doing kind of a hop. One, two, three, floor. And I'm kind of fluffing the fourth one. But let's do an A to the right, a little bit in the middle, A to the left. And then we do our B and we do two Bs. So let's do an A and a B together. And then watch some other guys after this doing it for real. It's a little bit different, but anyway, we're doing it in our own way. Okay. okay. So a, 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 B. An A and a B. Yep. All right. Somebody's collecting money already. Okay, I'm going to show you some people doing this in the street. They may be collecting money. I don't remember. I don't think they are collecting money, but that was part of the old deal that people were out in the street. And it's fairly well proven, I think, that people used to do this dancing in areas of the countryside where, especially in the time before the harvest came, the money was short and they used to collect money by dancing. So let's have a look at my, I can find this. <clears throat> so, 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 so. Okay, I'm having trouble finding my 
screen. Here we go. Okay, so I get, hopefully you can see my screen. These guys are from Wales. They're called Iska Morris, and they're going to be do doing the same sort of dancing. They're not going just to the right. They are going actually forwards and backwards. We went to the right, to the left. These guys are going forwards and backwards, and then they're joining their partner. So where we were interacting with our partner, these ties are going to start off. They will be dancing together. And then these guys will be dancing together. The front and the back, they're going to be doing diagonals. So let's just watch a bit of this. I hope you'll hear the sound. <laughs> One more. Okay. I'll, I'll go back to this if you want to, but I just wanted to point out how, you know, they're doing they're not going to the right and to the left, they're going forwards and interacting with, going forwards and interacting with their partner on the other side. What they do with their handkerchiefs, I have no idea quite how they do that. We've never done anything like that, but um, a lot of fancy footwork, um, and especially they're moving in lines. I want to show you now the, um, the, the next section. We just watched the B section. We were doing it with our imaginary partners. Let's watch the A section now when we just went to the right to the left. They're actually going forwards and backwards and then there's no real interaction with with their, their partners. They, well, that's maybe not exactly true. They're going forwards and the partner's going forward. So they're kind of passing their partner. So let's just see the second part of this dance. We're not getting your computer sound, Tony. Can you hear me? We can hear you, uh, but not the not the soundtrack on the video. Okay. That might be too much for Zoom. I don't know. Here we are again. So I now remember I should have programmed my Zoom uh, so that you could hear the video when I play the video. And uh, we're just gonna have to rely on the, on the site for this workshop. I'm very sorry. I guess you couldn't hear any sound, is that right? Yeah. 
I think it's not possible for me to to do anything about that. No, that's just too bad. Um, maybe I'll hum along to the music next time and you'll be able to hear that. Okay, but the, the guys were doing a lot of fancy footwork. They were doing a lot of movements. They were doing things quite often different to the other guys. They weren't all doing the same things together. Sometimes it's together, sometimes it's very separate. Um, I don't, did you see the guy going back behind the car? I mean, they were dancing in a car park. That's what you've got to sort of take on board when you're dancing in the street. Um, quite often when we're dancing, we have somebody in the audience who wants to join in. That can be fun. That can be chaotic sometimes. Um, just checking in the... So, yeah, I will move back to my little presentation. I'll show you something a little bit different now. Okay. Where are we? Okay, here we have some Scotsmen, Scots persons, Scots dancers, can you believe? They were in Helsinki two years ago and they brought with them knobbly knees, lots of bells, um, plenty of tartan and sticks. So I'm going to introduce the stick dancing aspect of Morris. We've been doing graceful things with handkerchiefs, somewhat graceful things. Like I said, I wanted to wanted you to realize that Morris dancing is about interacting. Quick picture of interacting with the, the dawn. This is the um, early morning on May Day, and people people really enjoy this. This is the same group that I was just showing you, the same people from Scotland, these guys here. So on May morning, they don't dance in the street. They get up and they go out and dance as the sun is coming up. That's, that's what you might see in a few places in England. Um, America, folks do it in, in the, uh, the dawn. The idea is to find a place where the dawn first comes. So it's often the top of mountains. Um, the other pictures I had here were people dancing on the tops of mountains. Um, now I chose this one. So they're watching the dawn over the sea. Um, but yeah, now is the time to get your newspaper. So handkerchiefs away, newspapers in your hands. All right. So does everyone have a newspaper to hand? Somebody who've got very short newspapers. But anyway, anything which you can actually use to interact now. Yeah, newspaper should be rolled up. I'm going to get my newspaper. Just grab a clarinet if you've got one handy. Aha. Uh -huh. Here is my good fashion use, but it's kind of more fun if you can actually roll it up. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Excellent. I'm thinking Pia looks like she's going to cast a spell on us. So does Cindy. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> when, when we're Morris dancing, we usually have sticks like those Scots guys had. And um, sometimes we, uh, we come off the worst for wear. Sometimes sticks can cause trouble. Um, what are these things? Newspapers. Newspapers haven't caused any injury so far, and they've caused a lot of fun. Let's see what happens. I'm going to interact with my right-hand partner and then with my left-hand partner, and I'm going to do some hitting. That's the whole point. And possibly by the end of the dance, we're going to be having some damaged newspaper because, you know, it's an interactive I beg to differ, process. Tony. I think newspapers have politically done a lot of uh, damage over the uh, decades. <laughs> Okay, but the idea, the idea is we're going to be doing, I think, three different types of hitting. So we have, first type is kind of more simple, which I would call side to side, and it's just hitting like that. So when, you're, when there's two of you, you can actually stand facing you, facing your partner, and hit the top and, and top and bottom, top 
and bottom like that. So if one person stands still, the other person can actually just hit the top and the bottom and top and bottom. But if both people do it like this, you can hit from side to side on the top and the bottom. I get my second stick, excuse me. So just to show you, my second stick is a bit of a, a dangerous one, but I'm gonna hit like this, hitting top and bottom. And I'm kind of watching, sweeping my hands from side to side. My partner, of course, is not moving. So my partner, remember, top and bottom, top and bottom. My partner over here in her dressing gown is just going to stay there. I'm going to hit top and bottom, top and bottom. And my partner is not very responsive in that way. My partner on the other side is also not very responsive. I'm going to hit her. It has to be a her for some reason. We have a lot of ladies in our Morris side. So with your, with your stick... Make sure you can do your top and bottom hitting. Then the hit, second hitting is pushing hitting. So this time you have a partner, of course, would normally have a, a stick which they will be pushing against you. And the idea is to push in the middle, 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 middle. So I'm gonna push my partner eight times. Okay, and I'm gonna turn around and push my other partner eight times. So my second hitting pushing, hitting. And the last hitting we have is more elegant style of hitting, if you like. Um, it's not just waving your hands around. We have an experienced Morris dancing in, in your crowd who's waving her hands around. But the idea is to try and take an elegant position, if you can, and use your newspaper as a fencing stick, as a sword, as a rapier. We're not going to take any lunges, but we're just hitting high and low and high. I'm actually hitting like that. And if my partner was a bit more animated, they would be hitting me at the same time. But my partner is very static, so I just hit away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's actually a little pause in the music and I'm going to do a quick turn. But if you don't have time to do a turn, the music will give you a little bit of a pause before you then do a second lot of hitting to your partner. Okay, so we have three types of hitting, first to the right, then to the left, and a little bit of a pause in the middle when in our dance we do a small circle. We're on a small circle. Let's give this a go, and then we'll have a look at a certain Morris dancing group, two Morris groups who do this dance. Can we have a little bit of music just to get ourselves familiar john so seven seven stick music okay so the a part and then the b the, the full thing yeah. part of the music. The B part of the music, I'm just going to dance around the room. I'm not going to do anything special. In our dance, we have lots of strange patterns. Some of them are actually the pattern I showed you or I started to show you on my little bit of paper. Um, this type of pattern where you're, you've got people in a line, they're following around making a kind of number eight figure. Sometimes these people are just crossing over. So these are the patterns which some people, when they're watching, will, would notice. And then we come back to the hitting. So my trusty stick, I'm giving up with this dangerous stick here. We put it away. I feel like Fanny Craddock when I'm talking like this about um, my cooking implements. So I'm going to do a little bit of dancing around the room. I don't have any handkerchiefs. I have a stick. I'm just going to prat around the room while the music plays. And then when we come back to this hitting music, we're going to, first of all, hit to the right, turn around, hit to the left. John, just so you know, it's about, about like five more minutes. 
Five minutes. Thank you. Cheers, yeah. Michael. Okay. So here we go, John. Let's have some music. Okay. So just to the, the sticking part of the music is when I go. So there's something before that where you're kind of free form and then you do your free stick form, routines. And then three lots of music. hitting. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Free form to start with. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This is what happens when you get carried away. So, can I can I show you the last two pictures from my presentation yeah. just to finish it? So this um, is this is how you end up a Morris dance with your newspaper squashed up a little bit. Um, with other people around, you might have a little more fun crashing into each other and hitting each other. Um, let's just look at the last pictures of my my screen. Come on down. So, money. I wanted just to show a couple of. Oh, these are the, these are the modern dancers in Helsinki. Um, okay, they are doing something with no sticks and no handkerchiefs, which just only goes to show there are different ways of doing this dancing. These guys have got actually have got swords. They don't have handkerchiefs or sticks, so it's not always sticks and handkerchiefs. Um, and these guys also don't have don't have anything like that. This is the um, different style of dancing called molly dancing. So I'm going to I'm going to show you one one old picture and then finish with this one. So these are the old guys who were doing it in the 1890s in England. That's where it's meant to have started somewhere in England, and uh, that's where it was kind of first written down. Nowadays, people wear all sorts of strange clothes. These guys are from Lincolnshire, and they do something called molly dancing. So just to finish, in the chat, I have a, or I, I will put this document here. You've got some of the links that I showed you and a few pictures of some other people doing dancing. This last thing, which is the, the street dancing, um, is called molly dancing. They don't have handkerchiefs, they don't have sticks, but it's still a sort of strange other type of dancing. I hope I can transfer this onto the chat. Um, Fingers crossed, and that's going to be it for our little workshop. But you've done three attempted dances. So I think we can consider ourselves successful in that. And fingers crossed, I'll give you a little bit of information on the, ch on the chat line. And Michael, you can explain how people can find that after this is finished. Is it possible? Yes, absolutely. Uh, let me uh, – hold on. Give me one second. I've got to unmute myself. Um, oh, I am unmuted. Okay. Um, I yes. First of all, thank you so much, yes, thank Tony. You. What that, a great. That was fun. That was our morning uh, workout. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so, so um, what we're gonna do? Um, we will post this. Uh, email it to me, Tony, and I'll uh, I'll post it on the Facebook group, also on uh, Instagram and Twitter. 
um, so people can find it. So just email it to me, and I'll, I'll take care of it. It's just one thing. Um, yes. Everybody stay, stay put where you are because we have next Larissa – from the Finnish, um, the Finnish Education Association of Teachers that work with first language students, having a discussion about education in Finland and their work. So the idea behind this festival is integrated audiences. So what, you know, obviously most of us know Tony and, and the Morris's work, but let's, let's see how we can support and integrate and hopefully bring more Morris dancers over uh, from the Finnish teachers who are going to be joining us now. So it's a great opportunity to build audience, build awareness, et cetera. So please, please stay on uh, the, the Zoom as Larissa is going to be starting momentarily. Um, there's an audience participation um, uh, a link. So please fill that out. It just kind of shows us. Um, it's in the chat. I'll put it again, but it shows us just kind of like what worked and what doesn't and also connects everybody together. So please fill that out. And uh, Marcus, if you want to take it from here and uh, as we set up. Thank you so much, okay. Tony, John, Mary Sophia, and everybody from the Maurice dancing community uh, uh, here in the live studio. Uh, we were amazed how people can dance together uh, digitally around the world together. Uh, and learn new new ways of dancing. So we are very excited. Uh, like Michael mentioned, uh, we we are continuing the evening with a very special uh, meeting together with uh, Larissa. And uh, just in uh, two minutes, we have an announcement. So uh, we welcome everybody. Uh, watching this live stream all over the world. This is No Labels, No Walls, plus We Are One 2020 Festival, 100 events, six days, 10 countries, and a lot of people and a lot of connections like, like, like we just experienced. Yeah. So uh, there's one minute and then, uh, then uh, we have Tim announcing our next ne next guest, and um, and then we will continue the evening. So get a a mug of hot chocolate and ask your friends. Invite people to the festival. Post on the festival event. Post on Twitter. Post on Instagram. Let's invite more people. So 20 seconds to go to the announcement and then we will move on with uh, Finnish Association of Native Language Teachers.